Hello, you are on the Space Daily News channel. Korea Aerospace Research Institute wants to launch Korea Pathfinder Lunar Orbiter on a 31st July 2022 on a Falcon 9 rocket. Recently, the spacecraft has been named as Danuri. Danuri is a combination of two Korean words, Dao, which means moon, and Nuri, which means enjoy. Danuri is a part of Korean lunar exploration program, which is divided in two phases. Phase 1 is the launch of Operation of Lunar Orbiter, which will be the first lunar probe by South Korea. The key goals of the Danuri mission include investigation of lunar geology and space environment, exploration of lunar resources and testing of future space technology, which will assist in future human activities on the Moon and beyond. Phase 2 will include a lunar orbiter, a lunar lander and a 20kg rover to be launched together on a KSLV-2 South Korean launch vehicle from the NARA Space Center in 2025. Danuri Orbiter carries 6 science instruments with a total mass of approximately 40kg. Five instruments are from South Korea and one from NASA. Lunar Terrain Imager will take images of probably landing sites for the second stage lunar exploration mission and the special target sites of the lunar surfaces with a high spatial resolution. Wide-angle polarimetric camera will acquire the polarimetric images of the entire lunar surface except of the polar regions with medium spatial resolution in order to investigate the detailed characteristics of lunar regolith. Magnetometer will mirror the magnetic strength of the lunar environment with ultra-sensitive magnetic sensors. Spectrometer will investigate the chemical composition of lunar surface materials. Delay-tolerant networking experiment will perform a communication experiment on delay-tolerant networking, a type of interplanetary internet for communication with landed assets. NASA's shadow cam will map the reflectance within the permanently shadowed regions to search for evidence of water ice deposits. The instrument is based on the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter camera, but it is 800 times more sensitive. The orbiter will perform at least three highly elliptical orbits of Earth, each time increasing its velocity and altitude until it reaches escape velocity, initiating a translunar injection. After launch, it will take the spacecraft about one month to reach the Moon. It is expected that in December 2022 the spacecraft will enter the lunar polar orbit at an altitude of 100 km. Space Daily News with Julia. Stay tuned!